Hi Pisces, this is your September 13th through September 19th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Moon. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Chariot in the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Cups with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Cancer or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. Not, a, not only is it a general reading, it's a very interesting reading, Pisces. Um, so it's going to get a little competitive here and there's going to be a loser and there will be a winner here. And uh, you're the winner here, definitely. You're definitely the winner because we got you in your own spread twice. The moon, the third card from the left, that is your personal card. Pisces and the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I believe this is also you in this particular spread. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So there's going to be a challenger here. Right, uh, the seven of ones, the first card I came out is clarified by the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is your challenger, right? It could be your person's ex, it could be somebody who missed an opportunity with them, or it could be a rogue advisor. And by rogue advisor, I mean it could be somebody who's uh, talking crap about you behind your back to your new person, right? And uh, the seven of ones. That's uh, the uh, Queen of Pentacles is clarifying. I think that's your energy. So basically you're going to stand your ground. You're going to protect what you believe is right. right? You're going to push this Queen of Pentacles out of uh, this, your new person's life, out of both of your lives. right? So like I said, it could be, this Queen of Pentacles could be anybody, but this is your competitor. This is your challenger. Right, uh, then we got the moon card, the next card over. I think that's you, right? This is your personal card. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. The next card that came out is the three of wands and it's clarified by the chariot. The chariot is the personal cancer card. You could be dealing with a, with a cancer, right? Or the chariot is a card of victory. This is also a card of moving forward. And uh, the six of wands, I'm gonna jump the gun a little bit. The six of wands, the card in the middle in the potential outcome, this is also a card of victory. So you got two victory cards, right? And uh, the three of wands, uh, the chariot is clarifying. It's all about a card, it's all about somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, or now that you have uh, kicked this person to the curb, they are no longer a problem, now you can move forward together with this person with this new person. Unfortunately, the only two court cards we have are the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, right? But I still see you moving forward with somebody here, <laughs> right? In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups with that Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a love offer. So I think once uh, this obstacle uh, is removed, uh, the two of you can um, be together, the two of you can fall in love with each other. The Ace of Cups is always about love. The Ace of Cups is an opportunity in love. The Ace of Cups is always about genuine, authentic, emotional love. Then we got that Six of Wands. As I was already saying, this is a card of victory. And back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. So a proposal is not out of the question at some point in the future. And the last card that came out is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of uh, a wish come true or this is a card of personal satisfaction right so that's your energy as well you will definitely be satisfied with the outcome so yeah very interesting spread <laughs> um, you will have to uh, stand your ground I don't think it's the it's your person's fault I don't think so I think this Queen of Pentacles they are either jealous or like I said they are a rogue advisor somebody who's not really happy with the fact that your person is moving forward with you, right? Somebody, somebody like that. But like I said, you'll be able to uh, get this person out of the picture, get this person out of your lives, right? And uh, then you can move forward together. And there's definitely a lot of love here. And uh, like I said, forward movement with that chariot card. You will feel victorious. You will feel great. 
you have stood your ground, you've protected what you believe is, uh, is yours, right? This relationship, this uh, person, and uh, there is a lot of love here. All right, so really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this bread is for you. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. And we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a um, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. But most likely, you already know who you're dealing with. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. So if you are already married... Uh, Pisces, I've got some great news. Well, I got great news for all of you guys. <laughs> um, so your person, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, I think they want to do something nice to you because uh, they're really happy in this relationship. Perhaps they've realized that you've been the backbone in this marriage um, or you just did something really nice for them or for the family and uh, they just want to appreciate it. Right, uh, the Hermit, the first card I came out, it could be a Virgo or the Hermit, this is them doing some soul searching and thinking, actually more thinking than soul searching, so I think they thought about it, right, and uh, here they come with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups, right, it's all about, I think, them appreciating you, they could give you something with the Ace of Pentacles, right? It could be in a box or a basket, <laughs> right? You can always leave me a comment, let me know what's in the uh, what's in the box, right? The Ace of Swords, I think this is them telling you the truth. This is them just sort of uh, telling, the, telling you how much they appreciate you. The Ace of Swords is a conversation in this case, I think, right? The Knight of Cups in this uh, spread is all about them showing you love, this is them appreciating you, this is them doing something super nice to you. The Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of your marriage, very happy marriage. So I think if if your marriage has been doing great or if, it's, if you are already in a happy marriage, it's about to get better. I don't know how, perhaps this person just thought of something to make it better, to show you love, to show you appreciation. So that's how it's going to go down. For others of you, if you're just dating this person, if you've been together for a while, but if it hasn't been serious, this spread is a proposal. No other way to interpret this. This spread is definitely a proposal. The Hermit could still be a Virgo, or this is them doing a lot of thinking, doing some soul searching, and when they do come out on the other side, they will, it will finally dawn on them that you're the one for them, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Cups, this is all the elements of a proposal. There's no other way to interpret that, really. And the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of marriage, this is a card of a commitment, this is a card of family, right? And this is the happily ever after card. So an amazing spread, Pisces, really happy for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, this week. Keep in mind, that it could be somebody from a couple of months ago or a year ago or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by Judgment, and the Three of Pentacles. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this King of Wands, the first card on the left, is the person who will be trying, trying really hard to get back into your good graces, um, right? It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If it's not a fire sign, then this is somebody who is going to get fired up, really passionate about reconciling with you, right? Uh, so we got two pages here, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Cups is a card of an apology. This is them reaching out to you, um, apologizing to you, but then we also have the Page of Pentacles. So I kind of think that uh, you're going to put this person on hold, you're not going to give them an answer right away, or perhaps you'll reject them and then they will try again, and uh, this time what they will try with the Page of Pentacles approach. The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch, so perhaps they will give you something. Hmm? The Page of Pentacles, unlike all other pages, to me personally, is the most serious page, right? So uh, whenever I see the Page of Pentacles, that means that the person is testing the waters or the person, in this case, is really sorry and uh, they want um, something serious with you, right? Perhaps they are not 
um, sort of giving you everything they've got because they are afraid of a rejection or they're shy or something like that. I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't think this person is shy, but the Page of Pentacles is um, slightly different from the Page of Cups. With the Page of Cups, this is them just being kind of emotional, but with the Page of Pentacles, they could start showing you or doing something for you or giving something to you just to um, prove that they're serious this time around. The next card over is the Seven of Pentacles and it's clarified by Judgment and the Three of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting and I think that's the energy of the King of Wands. This is them patiently waiting for your answer. <laughs> right? Uh, judgment, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past trying to reconcile, right? Trying to resurrect the connection. And the Three of Pentacles, this is them um, also um, waiting for the two of you to start rebuilding this connection, rebuilding this um, <clears throat> marriage if you were married, or rebuilding this relationship. And uh, the Three of Pentacles is a serious card, that means uh, dedication from them. Well, they also expect you to participate, but uh, that is a dedication from them. That means that they're serious, they're ready to go all the way. So speaking of going all the way, we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of marriage or a commitment. This is a very stable, very grounded, very long-term type of a connection. This is when people buy real estate together. Um, this is when people grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. So yeah, I think this person means business, but you'll... But uh, at first they're not going to show it the way you want them to show it to you, that they are ready for a commitment, but then they will quickly uh, catch up. And with the Page of Pentacles and the remaining cards, they will uh, show you how serious they are about getting back together with you. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces, this week. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a great spread, Pisces. The Ace of Wands, it could be an offer to start a new business together with another person or other people, right? It could be an, a new job offer, it could be an investment opportunity offer, or it could be you getting a new idea, it could be you getting inspired, it could be um, you um, basically starting something new, right? And I, I definitely see a shift here, I definitely see you moving. You could be moving out of one job into another job, you could be quitting your 9 to 5 so you could start a new business, or you could be quitting your 9 to 5 so you could join, um, so you could partner up with another person who already started a business. Something along those lines. There's definitely a move, there's definitely a new beginning here. So the Six of Swords with the Three of Wands, the first two cards on the left, they're, they're, they even look kind of the same, right? So you got your back to the past or you got your back to your existing situation and you're moving. The Six of Swords could be literally moving and uh, you're moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision to you, made a decision to move forward. And the, the Three of Pentacles, the last card I came out, it could be a card of collaboration or a card of a workplace environment, right? Or a business place. So yeah, you're definitely starting something new here. And uh, like I said, it could be you starting a new job or you starting a new business, something among those lines. But this is a great spread, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Pisces, this week. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Swords. We have the Emperor, we have the Queen of Swords, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an uh, Aries or, um, and actually, not or, and an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I think this is only indirectly related to you. I don't think any of those characters we see in the spread is you. I think one of them or both of you are your friends, your family members, somebody you went to school with, somebody um, you associate with, uh, you associate yourself with in some shape or form. So I think those two um, are getting a divorce or they are separating, right? They're breaking up. The emperor in the middle could be an Aries or the emperor is um, a husband or a significant other, not yours. Um, and the queen of swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Then the justice card on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a separation. This is a card of uh, them filing for a divorce. 
And the Three of Swords, the first card I came out clarified by the Five of Swords, this is them again breaking up or um, going their separate ways. Um, so, unfortunately, Pisces, I have to finish on this not so happy note, but, um, you know, it's life. That's all I gotta say. And, um, like I said, I don't think that's your story here. It's just someone going through it, unfortunately. Um, Alright, Pisces, so that's what I got for you for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.